Hi, this is Kim with Scholarly Pursuits. So today I'm taking you on a trip with my friend and I to Selegna, Arizona. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth. I never heard of this place, but we were leaving one part of the Grand Canyon, traveling to the west part of the Grand Canyon, and we stumbled upon a sign for this town, and it talked about Route 66. Now, my dad for years has talked about Route 66 and wanting to travel Route 66. And this is a historic, they sort of uh, term it the birthplace of Route 66. It's between Flagstaff and Kingman in Northern Arizona. Now you'll notice a lot of cars. So my friend was like, Kim, you know, do you want to stop here? Now, I had been in Las Vegas during the week. And so we just took a little side trip um, during the weekend, anything Route 66, anything about cars, I'm going to capture it for my 86-year-old dad. So not necessarily my thing, but I am, it's starting to warm up, on, you know, warm up to it a little bit. So anyway, we visit this town. It's one of these old-fashioned, nostalgic towns with cars. They do have a car show or um, a parade at some point during the year. I say if you're in the area or if you like this sort of thing, stop by. The people were so nice. I bought a few souvenirs, of course. Um, we shopped at this store, just looked around. So you'll get a chance to see Selegman from my view. I walk along, I take my time going in and out of different stores. We stop at a restaurant and have really good burgers. When I get to that store, now not this particular store, look how this um, has this street. It looks like a, a street. And you can sit along this um, countertop and maybe watch, I don't know if you sit and watch cars go by, um, but it's just kind of a neat little place. But they have all sort of memorabilia re dealing with cars and Route 66. Um, they say it's kind of like the start of Route 66. So, I say it's kind of like in the middle of a desert, in my opinion. As we're leaving, you'll see the road that we take to leave, and you're kind of heading through lots of sand and everything. So it's a very neat experience um, for anyone, but especially someone that's a history buff, someone that likes Route 66, someone that likes old cars. You'll see them all throughout this video. When I see a car, I stop and I take my time. Uh, they've got some Harley Davidson there for you know the motorcycle riders, but. We just walked along, and as my friend Alice, she kept saying, oh, Kim, we need to come see this, because, you know, we would go different directions, depending on what our interests were. Oh, you need to come see this. So um, when we get to the one restaurant, I'm going to show you something that's so interesting. That I, I love interesting things. I love interesting places. And that's why I share those types of things with um, you guys. So I'm looking for a souvenir. I'm looking for a shirt for my dad. And, you know, with these kinds of stores, they have everything, spoons, cups, you know, just about anything you can imagine. But I was looking for a certain kind of T-shirt uh, for my dad. So we kind of wandered in and out of the stores just to see what we could see. Now, when we get to the restaurant, I want you to notice on the outside of the restaurant, as you're walking around Selegman, Arizona, um, this one restaurant has two door handles. And when you come out you're kind of confused you're like well now wait why is there two door handles but sometimes people um describe this place as quirky and i would say yes it is quirky you'll see some of everything is from the past behind the restaurant when we get to the restaurant there's another area back there and i took a lot of video back there where there's cars and just you know just some of everything um it's kind of like people just kind of collect things and just add it to you know their collection but Lots of Route 66, and if you're a Route 66 buff, I say you got to get here. Um, it's just a short drive from uh, Las Vegas, so you know you can fly into Las Vegas or one of the other surrounding cities and just drive there. Um, but it's just a lot to see and do. Visually, it's just very stimulating. Everywhere you look, you just find things uh, of interest. Um, look at this motorcycle against the pole. I mean, why? That's one of the questions I always ask. Is this art? Why would somebody put a motorcycle up against the pole? But it's interesting. I don't see that in Columbus, Ohio, where I'm from. So you see things that you wouldn't normally see. Uh, when I did go to the restaurant that I'll show you a little later. Now, look at all these. I think this is stickers on this van. And yeah, it's stickers. And it kind of reminded me of the 60s or something like that. Uh, somebody just thought it was a good idea to put stickers on a van. I don't know why, but it made for uh, good photography. Now, 
Um, the other thing that happened at the restaurant is the lady, when I ordered my meal, I got hamburger and fries, uh, she, <laughs> all of a sudden, she popped out this little, I don't know if it was a snapper thing or some kind of thing that kind of made a noise or something, and I kind of jumped. So they, they do things to make you laugh and smile. In addition, it had the two door handles. Just, like I say, quirky, but so much fun. So we enjoyed our stay uh, in Selegma. We spent about an hour there just walking around. Um, this is like a little park in the downtown area that has that little gazebo. And um, I just think that if you get a chance, this is something that you have to see. The food, this is the restaurant that I was talking about. The food was so good um, and it wasn't expensive at all. So I do take a picture of those door handles because I didn't notice it at first. But then when I went back, I'm like, why are there two door, door handles? And how do you know which door handle to pull? But I must have figured it out because I didn't even think about it when I walked into the building. But look at that. There's a door handle on the left and there's a door handle on the right. Uh, but the one that says pull is where you, well, they both say pull. I don't know. I was able to get into the building and I think they're known for their malts and shakes as well. I'm not a malt shake person. But I think they're, you know, have some sort of record for the best shake or best malt or I don't know how those things are decided. But so if you're in Selectman, I'd say stop here. Definitely get a burger if you like burgers and fries. Everything was so fresh. Uh, you'll see my burger and the fries. They have like a, 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 a kind of a, I don't know if it's called a hash brown, but see, there it is right there. It has like a smiley face. And I was like, well, that's neat. They just have these neat little touches all around, even at this restaurant. In my, fr in my french fries, there was that little smiley face. And of course, it makes you smile. I like the way, you know how you order food and sometimes you get different things on your food and you don't know which one had the mail, which one didn't have the mail. Look how they write that on there. I thought that made sense. Um, and more restaurants should do that because a lot of times I'll get an order for several different things. I'm like, well, whose hamburger is this? Which taco? Is this one with tomatoes or not without, to you know, without tomatoes? Here's more cars. This is behind the restaurant. I had to get this uh, visual, this video for my dad and, and he'll know exactly which year and make and model. Now, these are re uh, refurbished, but some of the cars, you know, they're very raw and, you know, the, they haven't been maybe maintained as well but um very vintage you can see torn seats and all that but i just think that makes it interesting because over time you know things do decay but this is behind the restaurant and while i was waiting for my food i just walked around and walked in the back and just to see what all was back there so just selectment just another viewpoint of selectment is such an interesting place to visit Okay. 